Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Are you ready to take your iPhone to the next level? iOS 18 is now available to the public, so just follow my steps in order to learn how to get and install the new software update for your iPhone. iOS 18 offers a bunch of new features for your device, and it's one of the bigger updates in the last couple of years. You can now customize your home screen by changing the app icon color and tint. You have the new dark mode for your app icons, which will look really cool, especially at night. We also have eye tracking in this new update, which will allow us to control the phone with our eyes. You can customize your control center by adding a bunch more controls, as well as adding pages to your control center, and many, many more things. I have a bunch of iOS 18 tutorials, and I will leave the video links in the pinned comments down below. Now before we update, this is a list of all the iPhones which support iOS 18. So this update will be available for the iPhone 11 models and newer. So if you have an older device like this iPhone XS or X, you sadly won't be getting this update. But if you do see your device on this list, then all you have to do is to open the settings on your iPhone, then find the general section. After this page opens, we will select the software update option, which should be the second option from the top. Before updating, Make sure that you have more than 50% battery left on your device or connect your iPhone to a charger. One more thing that we have to do is to make sure that we are connected to Wi-Fi. The new update has a couple of gigabytes in size, so I don't recommend to do this over your mobile data. Connect to Wi-Fi, connect to a charger, and then tap on this update now. The next thing that you want to do is to enter your phone passcode in order for them to confirm that it's us. Agree to the terms and conditions, and then wait until iOS 18 downloads onto your device. After it downloads, you will have the option to install it. So just tap on Install, and then wait a couple of minutes until iOS 18 installs on your iPhone. You can then start using all of the features which iOS 18 offers, and you have my video tutorials down below.